Jack O'Sullivan, a 23-year-old law student from North Somerset, is described by those who know him as a determined and kind individual with a bright future ahead of him. Jack is known for his strong work ethic and his passion for law was evident in his dedication to his studies at the University of Bristol. He is described as having a friendly demeanour that made him well liked by those around him and his family have shared that he is the type of person who never takes no for an answer, demonstrating a relentless determination in all aspects of life. Aside from academics, Jack enjoyed socialising with friends and was an active member of his university community in Bristol. His social nature was reflected in his attendance at a birthday party in Hot Wells, in an area of Bristol, on the night he went missing on March 2nd of 2024, an event which was, unfortunately, the last place he was seen before he mysteriously vanished. According to his mother Catherine, the party in which Jack was attending was with, quote, relatively new friends, and on the night in question, he was in two minds as to whether to go or not. Catherine encouraged her son to go, as it would be good for him to meet new people. So Jack left the family home and went to a pub for a short while before heading to the event. He and his mother messaged throughout the evening, as it wasn't clear what Jack's plans were for returning home, such as whether he would stay over with a friend, take a lift, or if he was wanting his parents to go and pick him up. In the early hours of March 2nd at 1am, Jack messaged his parents, informing them of his plan to take a taxi home from the party in Hot Wells. Due to the fact that Jack appeared to have plans arranged, his parents subsequently went to bed. By 3.17am, Jack was seen on CCTV footage, walking onto the grass area at the junction of Brunel Lock Way and Brunel Way. This sighting places him in a somewhat isolated location, away from the main thoroughfares, suggesting he may have been taking a shortcut or was possibly disorientated. The CCTV footage itself serves as a critical piece of evidence, marking the last time he was definitively seen by anyone. A few minutes later, at 3.24am, O'Sullivan attempted to contact a friend who was still at the birthday party. This call indicates that he was likely seeking assistance or companionship after finding himself alone in the middle of the city centre under the veil of darkness. A minute later at 3.25, there was a likely sighting of Jack on the Plimsoll Bridge, heading towards the city centre. This sighting is significant, as it suggests he was moving towards a more populated area, possibly seeking to reach a familiar location or a place where he could get help. Five minutes later at 3.30am, the friend whom Jack had called earlier returned the call. However, the conversation was abruptly cut off after O'Sullivan merely uttered, Hello. The sudden disconnection of the call adds a layer of mystery, as it's unclear whether this was due to a technical issue, a lack of signal, or something more concerning. This brief communication is the last known interaction Jack O'Sullivan had with anyone before he disappeared. At 3.39am, Jack was seen walking along Bennett Way. This sighting followed shortly by another one at 3.40am on CCTV, where he was observed walking up the Bennett Way slip road towards Hot Wheels, shows that he was still on the move. At around 5.25am, his mother Catherine was startled awake, with a sense that something was wrong, and subsequently became aware that her son had not returned home from his night out after finding his bed empty. His parents grew concerned as time passed without any further contact from their son, especially given the earlier message indicating he planned to take a taxi home. If he had, he would have been home by this time, but he wasn't. 
At 5.40, following various phone calls, texts and WhatsApp messages from his mother, which were left uncharacteristically unanswered, O'Sullivan's phone was tracked to an address near an electronic substation in the Granby Hill area, near to where the party had been held. This location provides a potential lead, as it suggests he was in the vicinity at that time. However, without more information, it's difficult to ascertain whether he was still moving or had stopped at this location for some unknown reason. The fact that his phone was still on and transmitting data indicates that he had not yet lost possession of it. The last known activity from O'Sullivan's phone occurred at 6.44am when it remained active on the network until it eventually went silent. This could indicate that the phone's battery died, was turned off or was possibly damaged, but this sadly marks the final point at which any electronic trace of Jack's was recorded, leaving a troubling gap in the timeline and raising further questions about what happened next. Jack's parents quickly became deeply concerned after he failed to return home and began a frantic search for him. They contacted the police at around 7am, however were told due to missing persons procedures not to return for at least another 12 hours to file a missing persons report. By 11am however, his parents insisted a report be filed. Authorities then launched an investigation that included reviewing extensive CCTV footage and searching the areas where Jack was last seen. Because the area where the footage was taken by the river, police allegedly told the O'Sullivans that in many cases, people who have been drinking end up falling into the river. This revelation in itself left the family distraught at the thought, despite there not being any evidence to indicate that Jack had gone anywhere near the water. In the following days, Jack's family actively retraced his steps in an effort to uncover any clues, as further CCTV was obtained and reviewed by the authorities. They, along with community members, organised search parties and sought help through social media. The O'Sullivans made a website, findjackosullivan.co.uk, and created a number of social media accounts to raise awareness of his disappearance, including a Find Jack Facebook group, which has amassed over 60,000 members. Despite the incredible reach across social media regarding Jack's disappearance, online platforms have come with some dark and disturbing messages from trolls to the O'Sullivan family, with some even claiming to have abducted Jack, demanding a ransom. Despite these dark sides of social media, his family continue to raise awareness online. A GoFundMe campaign was launched by a family friend in order to obtain funds for the search for Jack and a reward of £20,000 for any information leading to his whereabouts. The campaign has already surpassed the initial target but continues to raise funds which will be donated to UK charity Missing People at the appropriate juncture or returned to donors depending on the outcome of the search efforts. The link to the GoFundMe page is in the description below. On the six month anniversary of Jack's disappearance, September 2nd, 2024, Avon and Somerset police appealed to the public for information, asking those with any dash cam, doorbell, CCTV or phone footage taken on the night he vanished to come forward, as the footage may potentially show Jack's final known movements. They are also looking for anyone who travelled in taxis, buses, cars, lorries or even by foot in the area where Jack was last seen to come forward as even the smallest piece of information may be crucial to cracking this case. By the six-month appeal, authorities stated that they had analysed over 100 hours of CCTV, over 200 hours of river and bank searches and more than 40 land searches. Drone searches have also been conducted and over 100 calls have been made from the public regarding possible sightings of the missing student. 
Other services, including the fire department, the coast guard and digital experts have assisted in the investigation. Despite these valiant efforts, no trace of Jack has been found and he remains a missing person. Avon and Somerset police have stated that their investigations into Jack O'Sullivan's disappearance are ongoing, with further searches planned following information and advice given by other law enforcement agencies. On the same day, the O'Sullivan family once again appealed to the media through newspaper articles and televised interviews, describing the horrific ordeal they currently face, not knowing what happened on the night Jack disappeared or what fate befell him. Catherine, Jack's mother, told The Independent and the BBC that even after six months, she continues to search for her son every single day, meticulously planning where to search next. Quote, My day is planned around which direction I'm going to look next, until I run out of areas I can feasibly check. We basically climb fences, jump into ditches... It gives me the peace of mind that I know that area's covered. I'm Jack's mum, and my aim on this earth at the moment is to find Jack. The O'Sullivans have been critical of Avon and Somerset Police's efforts to find their son, mainly frustration that they hadn't done enough to find him or support their family. Catherine told news outlets that they weren't assigned a family liaison officer and they are only updated on the case once a week via email. It was because of this and lack of any movement in the case that Jack's family hired a private investigator to assist. The family later filed a complaint to the Avon and Somerset police after they claimed crucial CCTV evidence may have been missed. This was due to the fact that after police allowed the family to view the CCTV, Catherine located her son's presence in some of the footage which police had not spotted earlier. The investigation into the complaint remains ongoing. However, police have stated that they remain committed in doing all that they can to find Jack. His family, including his parents Catherine and Alan, and his brother Ben, have been deeply affected by his disappearance. They have described their experience as a, quote, living relentless hell. And despite their ongoing search efforts and hiring a private investigator, they are yet to find any answers. Catherine O'Sullivan told The Independent, quote, Jack is a very determined, strong young man. He loves getting to the bottom of everything. If it was his brother who went missing, he would be moving heaven and earth to do the same. So we owe this to Jack, as hard as it is. At the time of his disappearance in March of 2024, Jack O'Sullivan was 22 years old. He would now be 23. He is described as a Caucasian male, standing at 5 feet 10 inches tall with a slim build, with brown hair and blue eyes. When he was last seen, he was wearing a green khaki barber branded jacket, a pair of brown Ralph Lauren trainers, a pair of navy blue chinos and a cream knit lamb's wool jumper. On his person, O'Sullivan possessed a black card holder, his driver's licence, a black iPhone 11 in a red silicon phone case, a Peugeot 108 key fob, an Apple AirTag in a brown case, a Hugo Boss wristwatch, a Monzo debit card and his house keys. These items are yet to be recovered. It should be noted that Jack's phone and debit card have not been used since his disappearance and due to it not being registered correctly, the AirTag has failed to help locate Jack or any of his belongings through GPS. Those with any information regarding the disappearance of Jack O'Sullivan are urged to contact Avon and Somerset Police on 101 or 999, quoting reference 5224055172, or you can email findjack23 at gmail.com. Even the smallest piece of information could be the key to solving this case.